Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my actual Power Rangers Turbo or Turbo Power Rangers movie retro review revisit. I did one of these for the MMPR Blu-ray since I got a chance to more recently rewatch it. And yes, that's the review. Until next time, no. This is an interesting movie, because it's like not a great movie, but I like it because I'm a Power Rangers fan and I've always enjoyed it. It's a very interesting movie in terms of production. Like, when I was watching it this time and I was watching the special features to do the review for the Blu-ray, I was thinking like how kind of weird it is. Turbo's kind of like this awkward middle child, I feel, of the two epic transitions. Like, Zeo from MMPR was like huge because we kept those suits for so long and I thought the storyline for that still holds up very well. I'm always very impressed actually how well that holds up in terms of foreshadowing and everything. And then you have In Space which was like this huge event, the command center blows up, might have been the final season, into the Zordon era. And then you got Turbo right in the middle here and they're the ones that get the movie. Obviously there was other factors in terms of popularity and stuff like that, like they wouldn't have done this for In Space, I don't think, because they thought In Space might be the end of the season, or the series, but I just kind of find that interesting. And there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff behind the scenes about like stuff that they've shot or planned or whatever about making the transition more cohesive, because they usually did a pretty good job of transitioning powers and zords and stuff and sort of explaining it. And this one was the weirdest and most awkward, where like they never really explained why they weren't using the Zeo powers anymore. The closest we got was Cat, you know, morphing and then it got stopped by water. Maybe they found out the powers weren't waterproof, but they could have said something. There was really no good transition for it, which I feel is awkward in general because the one that came before and after it I thought was well done personally, but because it's on the big screen. Maybe they just didn't want to confuse people with the mythology, but I don't know. Maybe they could have dipped more into it in the show because like the pilot was basically clips of that, but that's an interesting factor. I, like I've said before, I would have loved to have seen features on the Blu-ray itself talking about that more. In fact, that's a comic story I would like to see. A nice, like, one-off annual, like, The Soul of the Dragon or the upcoming In Space one. I'd love to see, basically, the Zeo Turbo transition done right. As far as the movie itself, I think if you're a Power Rangers fan, it holds up in certain aspects. It's certainly peak Saban PR, isn't it? I mean, we're transitioning to a car-based series coming off of Zeo, which was like mythological shapes, but it was just the Zeo crystal for us, coming off dinosaurs, and even though it's based on cars, the plot really has nothing to do with cars. Not that I expected it to do to have anything to do with cars, but it has to do with a magical wizard and a pirate lady trying to make a lava monster marry her. Like, that's just peak Saban PR, where you have like this, all these different elements working together, and they simultaneously do kind of work, but also they don't. It's also different from the other two movies where the first movie was like this weird AU where everything was very similar but different and you have like movie production costumes and stuff. And then the second one obviously was more a modern movie, if you know what I mean. And this was basically just like a like a upgraded version of the show. Like they even said in the featurettes that they shot it at the same time of the show and they used the clip shows uh, or clips from this for the pilot of Turbo in the show. So it's kind of very weird like that. But I find it to be an enjoyable story, kind of weird. And I always thought it was weird. Were they trying to have some sort of correlation between like Larigo's wand key and the Turbo keys? Am I stupid for even saying that because it's obvious or am I stupid for thinking it? Because it's weird, it's like, yeah, he has magical keys. We do too, they're just car keys. You know how it is. And they like use it to steer a pirate ship and they bring their cars over. Like when you're on some place that's got water and you park your cars on the ferry and it takes it over, except it's a ghost pirate ship. I sound like I've just taken drugs describing this movie. And then they fight like stegosaurus balls on the ship. If you have someone watch this movie or trying to describe it to someone that's not a PR fan, it sounds absolutely like nuts. Like it's just really weird when you think about it and how much like awkward the transition was but just how weird the movie is. So then you have like the Justin of it all too. I'm curious like what did your like friend group when you were kids, if you were a kid when this came out, what did they think of it? Like during this time PR wasn't as popular like in my school circles or whatever uh, but a lot of the kids kind of shared the opinion of the fandom in general where they didn't really like it that much which I thought was weird. Because some of the kids I knew that were still into PR didn't like it, but yet they liked Beetleborgs. And I, I, I don't remember if this was ever said anywhere, but ever since I was a little, I assumed they did the Justin character in Power Rangers because... That sounded weird. Assumed, I assumed that they had the Justin character 
cast because Beetleborg did well with the kid cast, but maybe it just didn't translate because we were so used to the adults. I don't know, I was just kind of mixed on it when I was little. I wasn't really like, oh, to hell with that. What's with me and the voices in these videos? Or I wasn't like, oh my god, why, why, was anybody like that excited for Justin? I feel like I'm just prattling on randomly about this movie, but if you're watching this, you probably are familiar with the movie, so you know what I'm talking about instead of doing a play-by-play -play of it. But I think it's just kind of a decent movie. I would say it's like a... a if I was rating it, I would probably give it like a 6, you know, or maybe a 5.5? That's kind of harsh. I don't know. But like for just like an average viewer, as someone who just, I don't know, you're weird, like you're high or something and you find this in the Walmart bin and you come home and watch it and have a few, that's like a, you might enjoy it more actually if you're that amped up. I don't know why I'm getting you so liquored up to, talk, to watch this. But I'm just, what I'm trying to get at where I got myself so distracted was, I think you'll enjoy this more if you're a PR fan. I think it kind of holds up. I think it's an enjoyable movie to watch for the PR action and the PR story and things you like about PR. Like I mentioned in terms of the quality of the production, it's kind of like PR, like if you, the show quality, but just a little bit up, both in terms of just the way everything looks and everything just feels a little bit elevated. So it's, it's like a very enjoyable revisit for PR fans. It's not my personal favorite, but I still enjoy it. But it's just a very mediocre movie for just the general public. Although, like, again, if you have a few and you watch it, it's kind of funny. Maybe, like, I just, I was just almost cracking myself describing it because, like, I know, like, how this works in the universe, but when you describe the elements individually, I'm like, wait, did that really happen or did I just make that up? But anyway, that's about it for this really, really random, this is one of my most random videos. I'm contemplating re-shooting it, but I don't think I want to because I thought it was also kind of interesting how weird this review was. We'll see. Let me know if you see this video in the future in the comments. That's a weird way of putting it. Anyway, before I get more weird, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell with notifications for all my videos, if you even want to after this video. Thanks guys, Dawson Ryder, signing out.